What is engineering psychology? Well, let me ask you a question. How do you handle a world increasingly filled with technology? It's at home, it's in your pocket, everywhere you look. But does this technology really support you in reaching your goals? Engineering psychology wants to understand how you interact with technology. How does your favorite device make you feel? What do you think during your interaction with it? What motivates you? And what do you really use it for? Analyzing data on how technology is used and experienced by humans leads to discovering universal principles on how the mind works in interaction with technology, providing us understanding on the psychological effects of system design, and this in turn leads to human-centered technology. For example, by factoring in attention models like the salience, effort, expectancy, and value model in designing a card display, we can adapt a system to enhance safety and user comfort in vehicles. As you can see, engineering psychology is especially concerned with the practical significance. It must work in the real world. For example, how will a jogger react when his or her smartwatch displays incorrect information? Engineering psychology wants to know, will the jogger now distrust the system and use it less? So in summary, engineering psychology is the study of human behavior with the objective of improving human interaction with systems by specifying the capacity and limitations of the human mind from which the choice of a better system design is directly deducible. How do engineering psychologists work? Well, they take new technological developments like automation or artificial intelligence, or they take challenges which societies face, such as sustainability or energy efficiency, and they apply psychological theories to ideally create three things. Firstly, advancing theoretical frameworks to account for the psychological dynamics of the specific human-machine interaction. For example, how do drivers control the range of an electric vehicle? Secondly, they develop optimized methodological tools for conducting user research in this area. This could be a questionnaire to assess a user's affinity for technology interaction. And finally, they create empirically derived design guidelines for system development. For example, how to best design feedback of an automated system to increase trust. Combined, these processes enable human-centered development of technology. As you can imagine, engineering psychology needs a lot of psychological concepts and theories to address research questions in technology development. Many of these you can find in our channel, along with other current research topics. Take a look. Don't forget to subscribe for even more. And if you want to join us in the discussion of future technological design, send us an email. Thanks for watching.